Hi, my name is Diego and I'm from CypherCore, the makers of LoginTC. In this video, we will show you how to add LoginTC strong authentication to your Outlook web app or OA by deploying the LoginTC OA connector. I recommend to follow along this video with our online documentation. Please see the video description for a list of relevant links. Log in to the LoginTC admin panel online to get started with the installation process. Click Domains and then click Create for your first domain. Enter a relevant name and pick an icon for your domain. Your users will see the name and icon each time they authenticate. Click Create to cr complete this step. You now have a domain ready to be used for LoginTC authentication. Now create a user and test your configuration. Go to the Administration panel, and from the Domains tab, click your newly created domain. Scroll down and click Create Member. The username must match the username in your Active Directory, or SAM account name. Then enter their full name, their email address, and click Create. Now issue a token so that the user can authenticate with LoginTC. An email with instructions on how to load a token is usually sent to users. For this video, the token will be issued without an email. Load the new token on your test device. Launch the LoginTC app, click Add Token, and enter the activation code you see in the administration panel. Click Next and click Add. Now the user has a token for your LoginTC domain and will be able to authenticate against any service you protect with LoginTC. Click the user to confirm the token is loaded. Now click Test Token to open the Test Token modal. Click Send Notification. A simulated request will be sent to your device. Approve the request to confirm authentication is working. Now install the LoginTC web app or OA connector. First download the latest version of the LoginTC OA connector. See the video description for a list of relevant links. First we will modify one key setting on your LoginTC domain. Navigate to the LoginTC admin panel and click on your domain. Click settings. Scroll down to normalize usernames and select Yes, Normalize Usernames. Usernames in OA are typically in the form corp slash John Doe, or also called down-level logon name. While the login TC admin panel, it is generally more convenient to simply use the username portion or John Doe. By enabling Normalize Usernames, the users will simply be treated by their username and not their down-level logon name. Scroll down and click Update. Now launch the LoginTC Outlook Web App Connector Installer on your Exchange server as an administrator. The administrator must have permissions to restart IAS services, as this will happen automatically during installation. Click Run and then Next. Review the End User License Agreement, then click Accept and then Next. Use the default cloud.logintc.com logintc API host. Click Next. If you have not created an application, click Applications. Type Microsoft and then click Microsoft OWA. Copy the application ID and paste it. Next, get the application API key by clicking Click to View. Copy the API key and paste it. Click Next. The OA secret key is used if you have multiple servers serving OA. The secret key must be the same on all servers so that cookies can pass between servers seamlessly. If this is your first time, then simply click Generate and keep note of the secret key. If this is the second instance you're installing, make sure that the secret key is the same as your original instance. Click Next. Installation is now ready to commence. Click Install. Click Finish. 
your Exchange server is now configured to use LoginTC for Outlook Web App. Now test Outlook Web App. Navigate to your OWA URL in your browser. Enter your username and password and click Sign In. You will now be prompted with various methods to authenticate with LoginTC. Click Send me a request to receive a notification on your device. Tap Approve to complete the authentication request. Users can now access your Outlook web app securely using LoginTC multi-factor authentication.